Where did the time go? January went by fast. Welcome to February. Have we taken action the way we said we were going to with our New Year's resolutions? February, the second month of the year. We have the principle of belief. Do we believe that we will actually accomplish something? Or are we just going to go along to get along? Let's do our best to make spiritual progress. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Guidance. February 22nd. This means a belief in a creator who is all-powerful, justice, and love. A God who intends for me a purpose, a meaning, and a destiny to grow. However, haltingly toward his own likeness and image. As Bill sees it, page 51. As I begin to understand my own powerless and my dependence on God, as I understand him, I began to see that there was a life which, if I could have it, I would have chosen for myself from the beginning. It is through the continuing work of the steps and the life and the fellowship that I've learned to see that there is truly a better way into which I am being guided. As I come to know more about God, I am able to trust his ways and his plans for the development of his character in me. Quickly or not so quickly, I grow towards his own image and likeness. There's a fantastic quote from Marcus Aurelius. This is how we become godlike, following God's path and reason's goals. Our job today as sober alcoholics is to align our wills with what we believe our higher power's will is for us. Our intellect and our instincts know from the start what the next wrong thing is. We feel it in our guts. When we were drinking, we would override that visceral instinct and do the next selfish things, others be damned. We did what we did and let the chips fall on you as they may. We were sorry, not sorry. God entered our hearts and souls, and we were reborn by working the steps. We worked the steps because we were at our bottom. We surrendered to a higher power that is all-loving. We had given up our power long ago to alcohol. We struggled to truly surrender at the beginning because we were in our alcoholic, sick minds. Lovingly, our higher powers paralyzed our stubborn attitudes for long enough to admit we were powerless and we became willing to try it your way. God gave us brains to use. We can use them effectively when we detox from the booze clean out the wreckage of our past lives, and we start to live by a new set of suggestions. We lose our fears and find love to replace our insecurities. We have faith in a higher power, and it grows because we prove it works. Faith without works is dead. Right. So we learn to give back, to help others with kindness and a firm heart, just the way those others did for us when we were new. Every day is a new opportunity to grow in faith and experience new levels of love. If we stumble briefly by having a pity party, thinking we aren't getting something we deserve, we pray and meditate for clarity. Every time we do, we get calm and laugh at our silliness. Truly blessed to have made it through the alcoholic torture to make it to this wonderful life. It is simple, not easy. Guidance. February 22nd. This means a belief in a creator who is all-powerful, justice, and love. A God who intends for me a purpose, a meaning, and a destiny to grow. However, haltingly toward his own likeness and image. As Bill sees it, page 51. As I begin to understand my own powerless and my dependence on God, as I understand him, I began to see that there was a life which, 
If I could have it, I would have chosen for myself from the beginning. It is through the continuing work of the steps and the life in the fellowship that I've learned to see that there is truly a better way into which I am being guided. As I come to know more about God, I am able to trust his ways and his plans for the development of his character in me. Quickly or not so quickly, I grow towards his own image and likeness. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.